Is it a sin for a soldier to murder? Someone posed that question the other day. If uh, someone is fighting in a war for their country and they take another person's life, is, is that wrong in the eyes of God? Is that breaking the commandment, you shall not murder? Ooh. Um, well, that's uh, a deep question. Um, it, it goes back to the idea that God has established authority in this world. Um, our parents are the most obvious example, but the government. And the government's job is to promote justice by defending the innocent and punishing the guilty. I think of a famous passage like Romans chapter 13. Um, it says this, The one in authority is God's servant for your good. If you do wrong, be afraid, for rulers do not bear the sword for no reason. They are God's servants, agents of wrath to bring punishment on the wrongdoer. God's servants. Uh, those who are serving the government are actually God's servants and they have a sword in their hands <clears throat> and here's their job to make people who do wrong be afraid. Now, if you think about it, a sword was not used to slap someone on the back of the hand. Um, a sword in the days of the Roman Empire was used for much more serious things, for, for piercing, for ending someone's life. Now, the question is, does that same principle apply when we're talking about a soldier serving a broader government? And, and the biblical answer is, it depends. This is connected to what St. Augustine, uh, a Christian from about 1600 years ago, called just war theory. That if our country is trying to punish those who do wrong and defend those who do good, if innocent people are being attacked, then for a government to protect them would absolutely be just. It would be right. It's like if, if someone came running into my home with a weapon to hurt my family, for me to hurt that person would be a good and godly thing. I'm protecting those that God has put in my care. That would be just. That would not be sin. That would not be breaking the commandment to not murder. Instead, it would actually be protecting life by going after the one who wants to take life. So if you're a soldier, if you're a veteran, and you're, you're fighting against the cause of evil, if people are attacking the innocent, it is right for us to step in and protect them. It is right for a police officer or a soldier, a general, or a government who has been given the sword by God to make those who do wrong be afraid. Now, for police officers in the line of duty, for soldiers who are fighting in a war, this, this raises a whole bunch of questions of what is just, um, who is dangerous. These are deep, uh, nuanced questions I don't have time to get into today. But I, I can say this, um, it is not inherently wrong for a soldier to take another person's life. A soldier and a government can actually be God's servants who protect the greater gift of life. You can be pro every life as you end someone else's life and Romans 13 explains why. So here's some homework for you. I'd encourage you to look up just war theory. Uh, figure out what wars would be greedy and sinful and selfish and murderous and which ones a country might enter into because they're God's servants and they love justice. That distinction is vital for countries and for the soldiers who serve them.